Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So we'll have properties logarithms for today, and uh, we'll use them to solve uh, logarithmic uh, equations. Now first, let's look at those three main properties of logarithms. Uh, the first one states that, okay, logarithms convert multiplication to addition. So if you have a product and you get the logarithm, you can split the individual logarithms, okay, and add them. Log RS equals log R plus log S to any base. Now, when it's division, logarithms convert it or convert division to subtraction. Okay, so log R over S equals log R minus log S. And then the third one states that the logarithm of a power is equal to the logarithm of the base times the power. In other words, you can sort of drop down the exponent. Now, we won't prove these properties. I think the proof is given in the module I sent you. So you may want to check that out. But uh, the more important thing, of course, for you is to know how to use them to solve logarithmic equations or exponential equations. But first, let's get uh, familiarized with the use of these properties. So I have here the logarithm of an expression. And note that within the expression uh, are products and a quotient. So we have to use both uh, properties, first and second properties, to split uh, this into the individual logarithms. And the presence of the exponent there tells you we also need to use the third one here. So ln means natural logarithm. So that's base E, natural base, 2.718. Now this one becomes ln P cube R minus ln Q because of division. Again, logarithms convert division to subtraction. Then we can split this one into its individual logarithms by applying the first one. This is a product P cube times R. We can write it as ln P cube plus ln R. And then further, by the use of the third property, we can on here, we can bring down the exponent three beside the logarithm to finally have three LNP plus LNR minus LNQ. So the thing to do here is to write down a single logarithm in terms of the logarithms of its individual factors P, Q, and R. So another one. Unless there's a question. Okay, logarithm base 10 of the fourth root of the quantity P squared Q over R Q. So there's a radical present, index four. There's division there. There's uh multiplication there's exponents so we have to use all of those properties again but first how do you handle 
uh, the radical there, you cannot, of course, just get rid of it by say, uh, putting everything inside the uh, radical. No, you cannot do that. Rather, you have to write the radical as an exponent first. Remember, root is equivalent to exponent one over four. So we can rewrite that as logarithm of quantity e squared q over r q raised to one over four. And then apply the third one. We can bring this down. And then division can convert it to subtraction. Then again, split up this one. And then bring down the exponent. And then distribute the one over four there. And then you have that, okay, as the, sorry, final answer. We have it, everything now in terms of the logarithms of the individual factors, P, Q, and R. Now, this could have been obtained in another way by first uh, applying the properties of exponents. Starting with this line, remember a to the m to the n is equal to a to the mn. We also have um, a b raised to n equals a to the n, b to the n, and then a over b to the n equals a to the n over b to the n. So we will have, okay, if we multiply everything by one over four, okay, this is one, we'll have log of p e to the one half, q to the one fourth, over r to the three fourth. And then uh, split the factors. When you have multiplication, you convert it to addition. And when you have division, you convert it to subtraction. Okay, then bring down the exponents. Okay, 
Okay, we get the same. So any questions so far? None, sir. Now we can do the opposite. We are given rather a sum or difference of logarithms. We will convert the expression as one or as a single logarithm. There are how many logarithms here? One, two, three. We just one. We just want one logarithmic symbol appearing. So we will have to apply the properties in reverse. So let's start by putting up the coefficients there as exponents of the uh, expressions inside the logarithms or the factors there inside the logarithms. So we will have this one as logarithm of P. is a and then the second term becomes logarithm of q squared this e and then the third term log r to the one half this a and then uh, all negative terms will be put as a product in the denominator and all positive terms as a product also in the numerator. How many positive terms do we have? One, two. So we put P and Q squared on the numerator, multiply them, okay, as a product. And this one we put on the denominator. Since it has a negative sign, if there's another one with a negative sign, then you also put that one multiplied to the others with negative signs as well. But we only have one, so we just put this one on the denominator. Single logarithm now. There. And actually, you can stop here, but if you wish, you can convert that to a radical logarithm base A of P. Q squared over squared to one. Let's try another one. Okay, we have two logarithms there. The thing here again is to write the expression as a single logarithm. So we start first by putting this up as a power of x minus two. And then we know that this has a negative sign, this has a positive sign. So we put one on the numerator. then put the one with the negative sign on the denominator. And uh, you just have to simplify the expression before you circle the final answer, your final answer. It will become x plus four over x minus two cubed. the final one. Okay, I want you to try, okay? Write this expression as a single logarithm. Okay, and then I will show the solution after two or three minutes. Try this one first. Thank 
Okay, so you first have to distribute two or you apply the third property. and bring up and note that the square root and the square will cancel out. So does the sixth root there, oh no, this is to the six. There, six there. So the six, root and the sixth power there. Then just multiply the two together. Okay. 
and then shift the coin. I hope you also got the same answer. So one more here. Actually, this one is quite easy. What I have to do is uh, distribute the negative two and the signs will change so that one will be uh, below. Actually, this one will be the one below. Due to the presence of the negative sign here. And actually, by just one look at it, if you wish, you can write it right away as a single logarithm. 4r times s to the 4 from this one here it's positive bring this up then you know you have to bring this down then you put this up r squared okay but uh, let me show it step by step so first you bring up all the coefficients And then write as a single logarithm, positive ones up, negative ones down. Here, same thing. And then just do a little bit of simplification. So there, you have logarithm of s to the fourth or s to the fourth over r. Okay, so that's uh, writing a series of logarithms as a single logarithm. How about this one? Write that as a single logarithm. Oh, uh, let me just get rid of, I won't be teaching conversion of base. We won't be including that. So let me just remove that one. Now, no problem with the last two, ter two terms here since they have logarithms, okay? But the first one notice has no logarithm. We would be able to combine the last two, but how do we combine that one, this one here with the rest? Any ideas? Unless this were log one, right? Then actually it becomes zero. So you doesn't affect anything. But that one's just the number one with no logarithm before it. And your task here is to write the expression as a single logarithm. Anyone? Okay, the thing would be to write it so that it contains a logarithm. That's the hint. How do you write that? How do you write one as a logarithm? There are actually infinitely many ways, like log 10. What is log 10? Base 10 is one. Uh, there's no log base zero. It's undefined. Because, uh, for example, log zero base, uh, log two base zero, what is this? Let's denote it by x. 
what should I raise zero to to get two? Right? What should I raise zero to to get two? There's no such number, right? In fact, the logarithm is only defined, okay, this one here, logarithm x base a is only defined for positive bases, not equal to one. Uh, log base 10, log zero base 10. Uh, there's no log zero. Um, wala ring logarithm yung base one. We do not define logarithms for base one. Let me explain. Say log five, base one. What does that mean? It's the number to which I raise one in order to get five. And that's impossible. One raised to any number or exponent is always one. And you cannot also define logarithm of zero to any base. Logarithm of zero is undefined, no matter what the base is. Because that would mean the number to which I should reach the base A to get zero. And remember, an exponent or an exponential is never zero. It's there, I taught in the modules and in the lectures mentioned, uh, the video lectures. They mentioned that uh, logarithmic functions are only defined for positive bases, not equal to one. Now, notice, yeah, okay. Uh, notice it's in base three. So can you tell me how to write one as a logarithm of a certain number base three? Log three one. base three, sir. There, obviously. If I write it as log three base three, and that should be one, obviously, but it's in terms of a logarithm now, I mean, it now has a logarithm base three to it, which I can join with the rest of the other terms, which, which also has log base three. So if I write one as log three to the base three, the problem now can be done. We can now write the whole expression as a single logarithm. So three, this is positive. Okay, positive, positive, then this one is negative. If you will allow me to do it in one uh, writing or immediately, by applying all the properties simultaneously in one line, I will have logarithm base three, and then this I put on the numerator three, this also on the numerator, and this I put on the denominator, but I first have to raise up one half as an exponent. And then that square root of 18 with the negative sign, I put it below. And there it's already a single logarithm. The rest, of course, would just be simplification. So logarithm base three, and then we can write square root of 18 as square root of nine times two, right? which is square root of nine times square root of two and nine is three, three square root of two. Um, so I'll write square root of 18 as square, three square root of two. So I have logarithm base three of 12 over square root of two. So that is already a correct answer, but sometimes it's better looking, more aesthetic if we rationalize the denominator. And that's 
actually uh, 12 square root of 2 over 2 or 6 square root of 2. Okay, any question? Okay, let, let, let us try one more. One more problem like that. I'll just change the base, uh, the number one there to, what if I change this to, let's say three. What if that were the problem? Uh, would it change okay your approach same thing of course has to be done you have to write three as a logarithm of a certain number two base three how would you do it now okay 27 and of course the technique would be to Okay, it's base three. And you just have to put a three and then this one here. Right, three cubed is 27. So if it's four, it's log three, three to the four. Number of 81, base 3. You just think of a power of 3, which will give us that as a logarithm to base 3. Okay, how do you write uh, 5 as a logarithm of a certain number? to base two, how do you do it? How do you write five as a logarithm of a number to base two? So automatically, you think of powers of two. So two, four, eight, 16, 32. Or you could just use the same base as a base and then put this one as an exponent. So let's say we have this problem. Negative two plus log six base five. How do you write that as a single logarithm? Run. Right, as a single logarithm. We do not have a logarithm for this one. So you have to somehow write it as a logarithm of a certain number to base five. Yes, anyone? It should be what? Look at two. What number has two as a logarithm base five? Anong number kapag ni logarithm base five ko two ang result? Powers of five yon? It's five squared. Okay, somebody answered there. Five squared. Yung two ginawa kong power ng five. In other words, you can do it actually by just thinking of powers of five. Yeah. 
Log 25 days 5, what should I raise 5 to get 25? 2. And you can leave the negative sign outside so that uh, you can just put it on the denominator after. So we now have a single logarithm. And there are exercises given in Canvas. Ah. You may want to try out exercises similar to these. Okay. Now let's look at the problem here. If C is log five, express the following in terms of C. Let me illustrate uh, for number perhaps uh, 20 and 21. Okay, log one, oh, uh, one over 125. One over 25 here. C is log five base 10. So since we have a five, all we have to do is write 25 or one over 25 in terms of five. And you can easily perhaps see that one over 25 is just five to the negative two. Okay. So that becomes, okay, you can bring down the exponent. Property three, negative two log five. And then log five is C. So the answer is negative two C. Any question? Log 500. Again, there's the presence of five. And you can think of 500 as five times 100. And since this is base 10, no problem with the 100. You use the properties, split into individual logarithms, separate the two. Multiplication becomes addition of the individual factors, 5 and 100. And then log 5 is C. And logarithm 100 to base 10 is 2. What should I raise 10 to get 100? 2. So it's C plus 2. Okay, I want you to try the other numbers and I'll be back after five minutes, okay? Unless you have a question right now, you may want to do so, ask me. Okay, so again, try nyo muna yan, 22 to, uh, 23 na lang, 22 to 23. Yung 23 medyo may pagka tricky yan, pero 22 muna, and then 23.
Okay. Na logarithm of zero point zero zero five. We can write that as logarithm of five over one thousand. Now, there's no need to simplify that as 1 over 200 since we have a power of 10 here. Now, log 5 is C. Log 1000 is 3. So, we have the answer. And who got log two? Anyone got log two? You may be wondering how two can be a power of five, right? Or what should I multiply five with to get two? Well, that won't work. Okay, uh, so just the answer is C plus 0 0.4. No, not quite. Nice try, at least you tried. Now the problem is two is not a power of five. Uh, okay, uh, still not quite, okay. How do you write two as a power of five? That's impossible. You would have to use a non-terminating decimal to do that. But the trick here is, actually in the base. What is the base of this one? 10, right? And C is log 5. That 10 there reminds us that 5 and 10 are multiples of each other, or rather 10 is a multiple of 5, right? Correct? Now we know that 5, 2, and 10 are related. In fact, how do you write 2 in terms of 10 and 5? It's 10 over 5. That's the trick. You have to be able to use 10, just like you did for 0 0.005, right? It's 5 over 1,000, so this is a power of 10. And two is 10 over five. So log 10 minus log five. And log 10 is one, log five is C. One minus C. And then for number 24, you just use this result. Okay, this is log two. Log 200 is two times 100. Or you can write it as this is easier, 1000 divided by five. Okay, so that should be enough for today. And uh, the quiz is uh, open already. You have until Monday. Monday is the deadline for midnight. And I will just be sending the link to those who attended today, okay? Any question? None, sir. Okay, that's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.